macroeconomic policy in Pareto Optimum. On a national level, the government changes the economy by how much it spends, how much people pay in taxes, how much money they give, setting interest rates, given financing, and rules about trading. The macro aim is to stabilize economic growth, keep the value of a dollar high, and keep everyone employed. The principle that guides macro policy is Pareto Optimum. This aims to explain how to give people more of what they want than less, with the income provided, and with no side effects. This process is a give and take until no one can be any better without someone being worse off. So the question is, can Pareto Optimum be a reality? In theory, yes. The free atmosphere in which competition between producers and consumers unfolds will respect the Pareto Optimum because people don't want to take things that hurt them. In reality, no. The free atmosphere is affected by policies and rules. This means that some gain and some will lose, and the Pareto Principle is not accomplished. Even if the policies and rules follow the Pareto Principle and application, their consequences mean different things for different people. This, in a nutshell, is macroeconomic theory and Pareto Optimum.